This is Joe Clay, public relations man. Public relations is a difficult and demanding job. There are many aspects to modern public relations. And uh, anyway, my agency is uh, throwing a party, uh, or rather we're inviting the people for our party, on Prince Harun Badul's yacht. And Abe suggested that you might be a very welcome addition. What, honey? No, not Abe Badul. It's, it's a Prince Harun Badul. It's his party on his yacht. And this is Kirsten Arnson, secretary. Being a secretary these days has its complications, too. You're pretty. That's what special qualifications you have, and that old lech loves to have you around to look at and lean on when he gets drunk, like he did last night, and who knows what else. That's what special qualifications you have. Joe and Kirsty, they fall in love, completely in love. These are their days of wine and roses. <laughs> I can't remember us ever feeling like this before. This is the same man. How can he be so different? What happened to Joe Clay? Here is the star of Some Like It Hot and The Apartment, Jack Lemon, to tell about his new role. Hi. Yeah, uh, that on? Where they can hear me? Could be a disaster. You just uh, saw some excerpts from several scenes in our new movie called Days of Wine and Roses. You know, people often ask, why does an actor choose a certain role to play? Why Joe Clay, then? Not a very admirable character, certainly. A man who's apparently compromised himself in his scramble for status. A fellow whose day very often begins and ends in a bar. And when it... Uh, it takes a boatload of girls to keep the client happy. Old Joe's got all the right numbers. He knows just what he's doing, why he's doing it, and where he's going, when suddenly, in this woozy world of expense accounts, he meets the girl that he falls in love with. Now, on the surface, this would seem to be a shockingly sensational type of situation, but the qualities of Joe Clay's story are not that easily revealed. That takes a fine writer. And when I read this script, written by a fine writer named J.P. Miller. I knew that I wanted to play this part more than any part I have ever been lucky enough to play. thing to say I have never really come out and made a pitch like this for any picture I've been connected with and I'm doing it now because I believe so strongly and deeply in the days of wine and roses and I hope you do too